Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I'm looking a little bit different to you right now and that is because I have just let my hair completely air dry. And um, this is usually what I do whenever, I, you know, for my hair routine, I just kind of let it air dry while I'm putting on my makeup. I know I'm gonna be using, you know, a hot iron and I'd rather try to eliminate a hair dryer also because that's just like double damage, you know? So anyway, um, this is what my hair looks like when it is, you know, air dry. It's extremely unruly, it's, um, it's frizzy, it's very coarse, it's very fine, but apparently I have a lot of it. Um, that's what a hairdresser told me, a couple hairdressers told me actually. So anyway, I guess that's what I have. But there's really no rhyme or reason to it. Um, I've got a really massive cowlick right here. I've got one on this side as well. This one's a little bit easier to tame for some reason. Maybe it's because I part my hair this way. Uh, I have a lot of kind of wavy hair underneath. Um, some parts of it are really straight. I do live in a very humid city also, so it looks a lot bigger <laughs> to me right now because it is actually humid outside because it is sprinkling. So anyway, this is what it looks like when it air dries. I'm gonna show you the back because that's where it is just the most unruly and it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. In this area, it's kind of the most curly. Uh, usually it's a lot more curly than this, actually. Sometimes it has actual ringlets. Um, it's a lot straighter over here. And yeah, so that is what it looks like. Okay, so the first product that I put on my hair is this and it's the Tresemme, what's it called? It's called the Heat Tamer and it says heat protection up to 450 degrees. And I always question that. I'm like, how do they know? You know, how would I know? I can't really test it out. Um, so anyway, I'm hoping it works, you know, um, as far as my mind is concerned, I'm gonna use it just because I'd rather use something that says it's gonna protect my hair than nothing at all. And anyway, I like this one most because it doesn't weigh down my hair. It doesn't leave it feeling greasy or oily or you know anything like that. It almost feels like I've done nothing to it. So that's the reason I like it. And then of course it says that it's protecting my hair. So I always put this in my hair when my hair is still a little bit damp. It's not completely dry, but it's definitely not soaking wet. And so I've already applied it and I apply it very, very, very liberally. So I spray it all in the back. I spray it in here, I spray it especially, you know, in the areas around my face where I know I'm definitely gonna be probably putting the most heat. And, um, and yeah, so like I said, I even pick pieces up and spray it underneath because I really wanna kind of get every strand. So after I've done that, I let all of that dry and then I let it dry till it's, till it's like this, pretty much bone dry. Now the next thing that I do is I use a cream leave-in conditioner and this one is from Sally's, it's the Bioterra. This one's pretty old. I want to say it's about a year old, but it still smells and works really good. Um, I don't think I don't think conditioners and shampoos go bad as quickly as like lotions, you know. But anyway, I think they've even changed the bottle on this. But I pick it up at Sally's. I think you can get it on Amazon as well. And I have very little left, so I definitely need to purchase another one. Okay, so this is a cream conditioner, and it's quite thick. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Oops, <laughs> sprays out. I'm surprised that they have it like in a spray bottle but it sprays like that, that might be a little bit too much. No, it's not, it's perfect. So then I just kind of get it in my hands to where my hands are a little bit white. And then I will just take sections of my hair, mainly the top sections, and I will, I'll just kind of lightly spread it. I don't press on my hair really hard because I don't want it to weigh it down. And it doesn't typically weigh it down either. It's funny because if I don't do something like this, if I don't put like a cream conditioner, um, leave-in conditioner of some sort on my hair, then it, it, I will have to go over it a million times to try to get it to straighten out. But if I use a cream conditioner like this, then it seems to straighten out a lot easier. And I feel like it's just a little bit better for my hair. And I really like to make sure that I get it in this bang area. And then also right in this area, um, I always have a hard time straightening these pieces out and under here. So I just kind of, you know, whatever's kind of like remaining, I do it real, real light after that. And then I put it kind of under here too. And it's funny because after I add the cream leave-in conditioner, as you can see, it just kind of tames a lot of my frizz and it actually leaves it feeling a little bit sticky, but, but I don't mind that at all. Okay, so after I put in the cream conditioner, 
Um, I just kind of let it dry and it takes like, I don't know, maybe a minute and a half or something like that. And then I brush it through and then I get started on the straightening. And this literally takes me forever. <laughs> Whenever I know that it's a hair washing day, it almost depresses me. <laughs> I'm not kidding because I have to straighten every single strand of my hair because it's it just looks different all over all over my head. So I typically like to start with the underneath parts because um, otherwise if I start on top, it's hard to get to the bottom. And I use a lot of these little clips just because I need them. Otherwise, you know, <laughs> you know why. <laughs> okay, so this is a hot iron that I love to use. I've showed this in a video maybe a year ago. It's the Revlon, I'm not sure exactly what it's called. I've got it set on 400, that's the temperature that works best for me. And as long as it's under 450, right? This stuff should be protecting my hair. So anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Now I might just really fast forward, you know, this part because wow, how boring. Who wants to watch somebody straighten every single strand of their hair? <laughs> this part is always so tricky for me. So I just kind of lean out like this and go back. So I wanna show you also, like whenever I straighten my hair, you can see how fine it is. Whenever it's just air dried like that, you would think I had really, really thick hair, you know, or thick strands, but no, it's very, my, my strands are very, very thin naturally. I need to color my hair, obviously. I can see some silver coming out, but yeah, that's how, Thin it is underneath. Then I just kind of, you know, take another little section and do that. hair looks like right after I've straightened it and I can't just wear it like this I don't know why it just it wants to fall straight down like I said this side I'm able to kind of control the cowlick the side still kind of has one but when I straighten it it goes straight down but then if I don't then it goes way too high for me so I have to straighten it and then go back and <laughs> make it go back up again I'm going to show you what I do this is the only time that I actually use a hair dryer and, um, and then I go back in with some, some of this heat protectant spray. I really want, I really want to keep the calic on this side and I need to lift it just a little bit here, but I don't want all the wave because then it's just not going to match with the rest of my hair. So this is what I do. I spray it to protect it <laughs> and I use the medium hot heat. I use a brush like this with really wide far apart teeth. And then I go like this. And, um, you know, I know somebody's gonna be like, you should get a round brush. I do not like round brushes. I've tried them before. I just do not know how to use them properly. I like something so simple. I'm so simple. I probably picked this up at the dollar store, but I'm really, really simple when it comes to really everything. Okay, so again with the heat tamer, just right in there, that's it. need right there. Now, also right now, it seems really fine and it just kind of wants to lay really flat. 
it seems like I'm, I'm undoing everything that I just did, right? I'm gonna straighten it all and then I'm gonna make it look less straight. <laughs> okay, so some of the products that I like to use in order to just give my hair some more texture and more volume is there's three products that I really like. This one is called Beach Babe and it's made by Not Your Mothers and it's a dry texturizing shampoo. So it's a dry shampoo, but it's also a texturizer, which I feel like dry shampoos are kind of texturizers anyway. Um, this is my favorite dry shampoo and it's made by Dove and it's the fresh coconut dry shampoo. Really like that. It does offer a lot of texture also. Um, and then the last one that I really like is this Not Your Mother's Beach Babe and it's a sea salt spray. Now this, if you want, you, you have to be ready for this. I mean, you're gonna get some major texture, but it's also gonna be very sticky, like you won't be able to run your fingers through it very well. And I actually like that. <laughs> I don't know why, I, because otherwise I'll be touching my hair all day long. But if I can't, then I just end up going like, you know, like this or something. And so that's what I'm gonna use right now, I think. I'm gonna show you how it works because um, I feel like everybody knows what a dry shampoo works like. So let's try this. This is gonna look really wet at first. And I only put it on the sides here. I don't do the back of my hair at all. Okay, so it looks pretty wet, you know. I do wanna get some body back in there. You know, I, like I said, I just straighten my hair just to kind of undo it all right after I straighten it, right? I'm gonna lift a little piece up in here. <clears throat> now, usually I just let this kind of dry on its own. And let's see. As you can see, there's a lot of texture already. I feel like I want a little bit more, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. Now, one thing that I will do is that, if, especially if I'm gonna use this sea salt spray, it, it gets your hair kind of pretty wet looking, as you saw. Um, sometimes I will turn on the hair dryer to the cool setting so that it's just cold air, just kind of you know drying it, because I don't want my hair to kink back up. And so that's just what I did. I just put it on the coolest setting, the cold. I mean, it just feels like I'm standing in front of a fan. And then I just dried it like that. So as you can see, this adds so much texture to my hair and this is where I'll stop. This is, and then I just always put it behind me like that. But even just putting that texturizing spray in it, even though I know I always push my hair back and keep it back like that, um, it still makes it look a lot thicker. Like it looks like I have more hair, even though as you saw right after I finished straightening it, it was really fine. Okay, so that's pretty much all I have for you today. Um, you know what, I do have this cute top that I got off of Amazon and it's just a fitted, this is pretty much my uniform. Like every day, probably for the last, I don't know, 20 years or something. <laughs> um, I just prefer a very fitted t-shirt with, um, with just some jeans because I'm a pretty petite woman and so if I wear things that are baggy, it swallows me up and it ends up looking like I have no shape or anything like that. And so I just prefer this look. And um, anyway, I bought these, they're $12.99 each. I got a green one, a blush colored one, a blue one, a maroon one, and I just love them. They're long sleeve, they're very thin material, so they're not hot at all. They're easy to, you know, you could just pull them up if you want to, and, and they're perfect for layering and stuff like that. Like I said, got them off Amazon for $12.99. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next week.